Hello everybody and a good day to you all today. I'm talking about Batman. Now Batman is not really a, one of my favorite superheroes. My favorite superhero is Spider-Man. But I totally understand why people love Batman. I mean, he, he's extremely smart. He, he, wanted to, he pushed his body to be the best physically possible for a human being. He trained in multiple styles of martial arts. He has cool weapons and gadgets. He has a whole lot of money. He's a great strategist. Um, he, he studied multiple degrees in different subjects to be, help him become the best superhero he could possibly be. And he did, it, he did it all without using any special serums or drugs, some kind of a special suit or a ring. He did it without using any magical powers. He's a, just a man who pushed his body and his mind to the full extent of a of human potential. Just using his, his pure will to be there. Because if you think about it, Batman is the weakest person on the Justice League. But he managed to, with, with training and preparation, managed to push himself to, to keep up with pretty much gods. And that's amazing. And he's constantly... Um, Preparing himself for different scenarios, for worst case scenario, as a worst case scenario, so he could be, so he come out on top. He's Batman. So I totally understand why people love this character. But my question is, why do people feel that Batman always have to win? Now I'm not talking about in, like in the Batman world and Batman. I understand him winning there. I'm talking about. With, I mean, there's a there's a debate going on right now to this day. Who won in a fight between Batman and Superman? Now, I know a lot of times in the comic books, Batman has somehow beat Superman for some reason. Fine, whatever. But, if you ask somebody right now who won in a fight between Batman and Superman, it would be a huge discussion. It doesn't matter how much powerful Superman is, all the things he can do and accomplish. For some reason, Batman has to win. And it, it don't have to be in the, in, the, in the DC Universe. It could be like Batman against Thor. Batman against the Incredible Hulk. Batman against the Silver Surfer. It'll be, it doesn't matter who it is. Batman seems to have to win. For reasons I, I, don't, I don't understand. Like, Screw Attack do these death battles. And they had Batman versus Spider-Man. Now, Screw Attack doesn't, doesn't go by fan votes. They actually go by what the characters can do. Um, their abilities, their strengths, their weaknesses, he, and they calculate it and they come out who will be the victor based off of the facts and evidence that they have. Well, in this in this time, Batman lost against Spider-Man. And the people went crazy. They it, it, it just couldn't believe that Batman would lose against Spider-Man. Which makes perfect sense because Spider-Man is just as smart and he's stronger, he's faster, he's younger, he has powers and abilities, he can do a lot, a lot of things too. He also can invent things and create things and make them to help take down, take down other people. He actually is a genius. He has, it is possible he actually could take out Batman. I mean, all of his abilities, plus his intellect, he has a chance, but people did not want to believe that, could not accept it. Bat in the Sun... They also do superpower beatdowns between superheroes and sometimes, and they, but they go by fan votes, and they had a Wolverine versus Batman, and a lot of most of the fans voted for Wolverine, which is kind of shocking because you, you think Batman will win, but Batman lost, and the internet went crazy again because they could, they could not accept that Wolverine could actually beat Batman. So to fix this, Bat in the Sun. Did it like a, a, a had them fight again, which is weird because because Wolverine actually killed Batman, but whatever they even mentioned that in, in the beatdown. And this time, Batman threw some magnetic dust in Wolverine's face. He breathed it in. Next thing you know, he took him out just like that. I said, oh, fine, whatever. So like this. So why does Batman have to win? I mean, why can't people accept that Batman can lose? I mean, he's only human. He makes mistakes. He has flaws. He has weaknesses, just like a human. Even though he has trained his mind and his body to be the best, and he prepares and preparation prepares for every situation, but preparation and 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 training only can go but so far. And even though sometimes you are prepared, which gives you some type of edge, it doesn't guarantee victory. So again, why? Does Batman always have to win? Now, 
there was a situation. I like I, I listen I listen to podcasts. I love podcasts. And I listen to this podcast by by Nerdist called the Nerdist Comics Panel. After they had comic book writers discuss comic books and the the writing process or how they came up with this idea and, and things of that nature. Great great podcast. I highly recommend that you check it out. It's very entertaining. It's fun. You learn a whole lot about writing. I, I highly recommend it. And they had Lynn Wing on the podcast. And Lynn Wing wrote a whole lot of comics. He pretty much wrote everything. Name a superhero. He probably wrote it at one point in his life. He, he, he writes a lot of comics. So he knows his comic books. And he asked the question to the audience. Who will win, who, who's in the Marvel Universe is, is, is just like Batman? Some people are saying like Tony Stark, um, um, Black Panther. And he said no. It's Reed Richards. And I never thought about Reed Richards before uh, compared to Batman before because because uh, both uh, one has powers, the other one doesn't, and one's a martial artist. But if you really think about it, they are quite alike. Both of them are not the strongest on their team. Batman on the Justice League, he's the weakest. Um. Mr. Mr. Fantastic on uh, uh, the Fantastic Four, he actually is the weakest. But their minds makes them powerful. I mean, both of them prepare and prep for many scenarios and situations. Both of them, like, Reed Richards will come up. If, if he doesn't have a, a solution, he will actually find one, and, if he, and then he will make something so he can come out on top. Now, Batman doesn't really make a lot of his stuff. He may get other people to do it for him, but he does, he is prepared for every situation, just like Reed does. I mean, if Reed can't figure it out, he actually created a portal so he can discuss this with other Reeds from other um, realities called the Council of Reeds. And they discuss not only how to save the planet in their world, but other worlds in the freaking universe as itself. I mean, they're, they're discussing and going over things that people don't even think about. I mean, Reed's constantly coming up with system scenarios and how to overcome that. And, and Batman is the same thing. I mean, not on the same cosmic scale as Reed, but still, both of them are constantly preparing themselves for the worst and coming up with solutions to help fix them out of that problem. Because in Marvel Universe, when there's a problem that no one can fix or no one can solve, they turn to Reed. And it's up to Reed to come in with the last minute to save the day with his, this gadget he created to help take down the bad guy. When all the superheroes together can't stop it. And Batman, he has come up with scenarios and a program to take down every superhero just in case they, they go bad. So I'm, so the question I want to know is, between if, if these two had to go at each other, at these two had to battle with each other, who, to the death, and both of them had time to prep and prepare. Both of them had time to study each other. Both of them had time to create and make a device to cancel out whatever. Who will be the who is the smartest? Who will be the one who will be the victor? Bruce Wayne or Reed Richards? The Dark Knight Batman or Mr. Fantastic himself? Who will be the winner? So leave your comments down below. Let me know if you have any thoughts about why does Batman always have to win? It doesn't matter if you're a Batman fan or not. If you have any thoughts about it, let your comments down below. Just, just be civil. And who do you think will win in the fight? Batman or Mr. Fantastic? Leave your comments down below. Well, that's all I gotta say about that. So give my channel a big old like, hit the thumbs up, boom, subscribe to my channel and share. I really would appreciate it. So like I always say, in my dreams and in real life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. A peace out of peoples.